departure lounge very early. It's a 10.30 flight on at least two hours here beforehand. So they, it was a very long check-in queue, but they got through it very quickly. Yeah, I'm um, two hours ahead of the flight, so oodles of time. Um, but the I, where I had hassles was just getting through the, uh, the security, mainly because I'd had the, my I had the Ventolin in the uh, my pocket there. I had set set it off when I was walking through. I didn't realise I had just figured out that I had my Ventolin on me. And also, they made me take my shoes off. That was the other weird thing. But maybe because I'd, I'd set off the alarm. If I hadn't had the Ventolin there, it might not have been an issue. I, I don't know. But, they seem to be very intrusive with the with the security. And then came down here, and then they're checking for liquids. So double checking. I mean, there's, there's a lot of security. But finally, I think all that crap's out of the way, and uh, hopefully I've got an aisle or window seat, but uh, no guarantees. Um, being a um, a dreamliner, I think C would probably indicate probably indicates an aisle seat I think but it's a night flight so who gives a rats that's fine uh, I I do prefer window seats because you don't have people bumping you walking down the aisle that's a hassle uh, so I guess my preferred one for, is a, is a um, window seat for that reason alone that you don't get hassle as much but on the trip coming down here coming to Vietnam of course I had that fidgety guy right next to me he's a pain he didn't had no concept of personal space and it was very irritating. Um, hopefully, I won't have that hassle tonight, so we'll see. But it is pop luck. Uh, yeah, I know, I might even go f full service if I do this again at some stage soon. If I do come back in September or October or whatever. I don't know. I don't feel the same about coming here as I did before for you know, this trip, though, so. I don't know what I'm going to do. Going overseas is a bit more of a hassle than it used to be. So, yeah. Well, at least I've got a, a view of what's happening out in the tarmac. Almost 12.40 to be able to actually check in at one of these automatic checkers. Uh, it's two hours prior to the flight. The flight's at 2.40. Just standing near the doors here, it's got quite a quite a chilly breeze, it's actually cool here in Sydney today, so I've got my windshield on, uh, the plane was a bit chilly uh, from from Saigon, so uh, quite a few people were rugged up actually, uh, although it wasn't a bad journey, as I had an aisle seat and there's a young couple next to me and they, they weren't jittery or anything, so I actually, actually got some shut eye a couple of uh, coat of the uh, sedatives and they work this time so that was good so it's the final leg looking forward to finally getting home just before six assuming the flight isn't delayed and in many cases they are especially for domestic jet star flights the um, international flight came in early that's unprecedented for a jet star so um, I didn't have any problems with the actual international leagues, it's just I got that first cancelled flight when I, when I left on the 1st of May. But uh, yeah, I've just got to go and check in on one of those automatic things. I'm not sure if they're even going to ask about the, um, the RAT test. I've got the negative results, so that's all fine anyway. But um, uh, I think I'll have to take it across to a baggage drop and I think they've actually got staff here to help you with the baggage drops unlike Melbourne which is a really crappy system there's just sort of there's hardly any help at all it looks as though they've got people dedicated to each one of the baggage drops and that's all it's going to ask for yeah, so that's good so just a matter of waiting till um, the magic hour a few more minutes and it'll be yeah, four more minutes to be exact and then I'll be able to uh, check in and get myself processed and then get to the departure lounge and just relax and finally, uh, and just the last thing I'm going to do is find myself a decent Uber ride back to uh, back home. I don't think I'll be bothered doing a convoluted journey back home. I want to do a luxury. I'm too, still feeling a bit throaty and everything. I, I felt worse about an hour ago and picked up a bit, but... Uh, about the time I had the RAT test, I felt 
I felt a bit breathy because I've been running, I've been walking around a bit, but um, yeah, I just can't really exert myself at the I'm still a bit uh, congested, so. But it's not um, not COVID, you know that much. Uh, area of the airport, Hans Airport, and um, well, I was just over at the um, at uh, luggage pickup over there, and I'd say what 20, 25 minutes ago at the most. Uh, I got. I looked up Uber, and I, uh, the the um, the fare was 56. Then I checked it after I'd actually finished. Uh, I collected my luggage before coming over here, and it had gone up to about uh, 85. And now it's almost a hundred. And that was like another 10 minutes. Um, there's a lot of demand for taxis and everything at the moment. That's just, um, I guess, just because the the plane came. You know, I guess the only thing you can do is just wait it out. If you want to pay less, you just have to wait until it's quiet again. Um, because that's insane. There's no way I'm paying a hundred bucks for a big taxi. That's that's just crazy land. But the 56 looks good. I should have taken it, although I hadn't collected my luggage, so it really I really couldn't. But um, I might just hang around a little while. I don't, it's a pleasant enough night. There's no big deal doesn't really worry me whether I get home 10 or 15 minutes later um, but gee I'm not going to pay that much extra dough that's crazy but uh, yeah like I said the, the taxis are in high demand and so are ride shares oh, okay. that's what it's all about it's just sublime demand and actually I was in the middle seat this time which is, it hasn't happened to me for years and uh, a couple of middle aged ladies are surrounding me um, and they both they both like their wine. I put them that way. <laughs> so yeah, it was. Um, I mean, it was okay. I actually watched a bit of stuff on on the uh, on my laptop, so the time went okay. Um, it's just happy to be here, admittedly, but I just don't want to pay through the nose. I think it's just crazy. And like I said, I'm quite happy to wait it out. If I have to wait half an hour to get a better fare, I mean. Who cares? I'm in no rush to get home. So uh, I can do reflections on um, on my whole trip and everything. It, um, oh, the other thing that, uh, I forgot to mention too is that um, when, I, when we landed in Sydney, my ears kept popping incredibly, um, I'd say half a dozen times. And not to the same extent, but it happened again landing in Cairns. That may be due to the fact that I've got this... Uh, this infection, we know it's not COVID, but uh, it's something, and uh, so that's uh, that's affecting things. So it's look, it's just a little after six o'clock at night, still pretty well peak hour, I guess. And then you got a flight coming in. It, it doesn't surprise me that the rideshare prices have just jumped substantially. If I can get one for fifty six now, I'll do it. If it does drop back to that, um, even though I, you know, I got the forty one fair early morning uh, getting the taxi to the airport um, but I doubt whether you can do that again that was a pretty good fare but anyway I'll keep checking just keep checking and see if I find anything better and uh, and I'll jump on it quarter past six the, the price that these guys here are charging the Ubers was around 99 that was the peak price now it's 6.39 and it's uh, it's dropping down to uh, almost below 70 so that's quite a reduction and it's just continually dropping each time I'm looking at it so um, you see all these taxis here uh, they're going to pick up a lot of people once they've done then I think that the Uber is going to have to pick up the scraps and that's when the prices are going to drop further also, the later in the night it gets, the less, uh, it's, it's not a, um, you know, it's, it's not going to be a, um, a peak period. The peak period will probably finish at about 7, so if I just hang out for another quarter of an hour, I might at least get it down to 60, um, or even in the mid-50s, and might just have to cop that tonight because it's... Um, it's a learning experience, but it's interesting to see how the market works with this thing. Um, same thing happens with Grab, but it wasn't as dramatic as this. 
But Mark, 99, wow, that's, gee, someone took that chair, they'd be really paying above the, the odds. I don't know who these people are, Bogan, I hope. Oh, that's a, uh, this is here for a shovel, but it'd be for hotels, presumably, backpackers, that type of thing. Well, I'm back in suburbia, and I'm on the road again, heading off to Smithfield. And um, this is the uh, the first time I've been out of the house since I got back on Monday because I've had this lousy cold, which has been persistent. And trying to shake it, but it's taking... It's getting better now, I think, but it's hard to tell because I've had a few relapses, so very difficult. Oh, here we go. They've made a bit of progress over there. So I'll just get to the other side of the road away from the damn dog. Um, yeah, it's quite a large extension they're building there. But uh, they were just doing the foundation work last time I was here a month ago. So now they've made quite a bit of progress. That's, that's a big extension. So, uh, yeah, the values here have gone up quite a bit. I've been tracking it all and uh, they're still going up. Um, the last monthly uh, realestate.com uh, profile of this suburb had uh, four bedroom houses going from 620 up to 625. That's a fairly low percentage increase, I guess, but uh, it's still going up. So, uh, more sustainable increase, but we'll see how things go with all these interest rate increases because apparently we're going to cop another one next week. Uh, I'm pretty well impervious to it. I've got such a low mortgage now that it's it's irrelevant almost. So I'm not particularly concerned. There should be the bus. There it is. Yep. Ah, everything's back to normal. So heading off to the bright lights of Smithfield. I'm going to try to get myself some new glasses at Specsavers. I was thinking about buying them in, in Saigon, but I don't think it's that much cheaper to be quite frank. Uh, <clears throat> I mean the computer repair was, that was incredibly cheap, but it just depends on what you get done there. Most stuff involving labour does, but this might be sort of more uh, depending on the type of equipment they've got to do the lenses. It's probably done all automatically, so the costs aren't that great. Uh, anyway, we'll see. Got to get some meds, of course, and some food. And I'm trying to actually spend over a hundred bucks on my next Coles delivery next week, so that I'll get a ten dollar rebate. And it's not as easy as it sounds when you're a single guy in a place. And I've already, I had a fairly big shop on Thursday. I wish I'd known about this deal. Then I would have um, probably. Put the two together but i'll find i'll find some stuff i can spend money on it's not that difficult i should be able to get over the hundred mark i'm pretty close to it now uh, but i've just had to i'm getting myself a lamb roast which is a bit of an indulgence uh 21 bucks for a, a kilo boneless uh lamb roast which i think would be really nice it is probably my favorite meat and i don't have it very often so it's a real indulgence uh, and with the discount, really it's half price because you get the ten ten dollars off, so it brings it down to eleven bucks for a kilo of lamb, which isn't bad. So anyway, almost at the uh, the bus stop, and uh, just gonna wait for the old bus from Rooney, and then head off to the bright lights of Smithfield after convalescing for uh, about four days, four or five days. <clears throat> yeah, I finally haven't got... I had a real sort of congestion in my um, my chest which made my breathing quite difficult. And that seems to have cleared and that's really good. The weather's superb at the moment, by the way. It's fantastic up here. Much better than, say, back in Saigon. Where it's getting a lot more rain there at the moment. It's going to build up. It's not going to be a great place to be in the next few months anyway, so I might look around and see what's going on with airline tickets, but I can't see myself being back there before September or November at the earliest, so we'll see. I'm glad to be back in Kawara Beach after uh, this very sketchy looking character uh, tried to get money off me so he could catch his bus. He also 
approached a, uh, a young girl waiting at the bus stop as well. You could just see he was trouble from the distance. And uh, yeah, he didn't disappoint. What concerned me is when um, you know, I asked, he asked if he had any, any money on me, I said no. And he said, uh, well, I just asked politely. So he's implying that, yeah, if I didn't pay up, he'd, uh, he, physical violence may occur. That's how I interpret it anyway. It's not very pleasant when you just... It's never happened at Smithfield. It's just crazy. And apparently he's an out-of-towner, he told the bus driver, because he tried to, to con his way onto the bus, but the bus driver wouldn't have it. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit unnerving. And this was at 10 o'clock on a Friday morning. So, geez, you just... I mean, I expect there to be uh, dodgy things happening in uh, Cairns central uh, after hours after the, after the sun goes down because they've got a, a it's got a reputation as being a high crime area but i thought smithfield uh during a weekday wouldn't be an issue but it can happen anytime and anywhere i guess it's not good around here it's it feels safe to me and i think it is relatively safe but i guess it just takes one bad apple to uh, ruin your day doesn't it so I'm a little unnerved, but I uh, got back in one piece and uh, might even be up to doing a bit of mowing the Savo, which really does need to be done. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give, do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great.